Hey guys, Rob out here at I'mAlwaysInHotWater.com. Uh, about the 15th of August, off from a uh, one-week vacation for myself. First break I've had in, uh, geez, since January and feeling a little fresh. And now out trying to get caught up on boats uh, to give you guys, uh, you know, videos the best I can. And to get right to the point, what we got out here is kind of a really nice, uh, unique situation. Uh, this is a 1995. Sea Swirl Striper 2150 center console and I gotta tell you the boat is solid all the way through once again as always hire a surveyor get your own mechanic uh, don't take my word for it but my um, observations we have a solid deck uh, just uh, the hulls in very very nice shape I wanted to get the video um, on the water because I'm on a runner just real quick and I'll do that with you on the video uh, my only complaint would be, and it's not really a complaint, is the boat is bottom painted, and if you're going to be keeping the vessel in the water, uh, she would be due for bottom paint. Uh, if you're not keeping her in the water and then trailering her, then I really wouldn't worry about it. Real nice design, a lot of room, great for fishing and family fun, uh, plenty of forward deck area, you have the safety rail up. Um, this 95 hails with a two 2007 Evinrude 150 E-Tech with about 150 hours on it with brand new Sea Star steering and this engine has just had actually its 300 hour service complete through and through down to the water pump filters everything that needs to be done at 300 hours has been done at 150 um, I don't, you know, it's basically 140 hours, but we're going to call it 150. And uh, also on this vessel, uh, which is needed, uh, brand new uh, Lenko trim tabs. So overall, just so you guys need T-tops in great shape. Uh, you have your cushions for the back. You have your forward deck area. You have storage in the middle. Um, this vessel has been run and taken care of. Uh, by uh, somebody extremely mechanically inclined. In fact, he uh, in himself has the software <laughs> for the Evinrude. So he's been able to keep track and uh, tabs and do what he's had to do, uh, including the 300 hour service. Now, as I move into the vessel, I apologize for the deck being a little dirty, but we've been tooling around. Uh, up underneath here, you do have a live well, uh, and it is working. You guys can see the brand new Sea Star steering. You can see uh, up on the helm seating, we are in excellent shape. Uh, no rips, no tears. And in fact, uh, actually your leaning post, this will actually pop out. As I move forward on the vessel, you can see just to get perspective, hopefully the GoPro is picking it up. It's a little uh, uh, very humid out here. Hopefully it's not fogging up on you guys. Just a beautiful clean boat with a 2007 motor with extremely low hours, turnkey ready, serviced to go. Everything on the vessel works, nav lights, uh, live well, bilge. Um, as we move forward into the helm panel, everything is in working condition except uh, I was just out on the water. I didn't see the trim, tab, the trim indicator um, working. I mean, it's a 1995 boat and obviously uh, the uh, <laughs> miles per hour gauge is not working. Uh, but, you know, as far as RPMs, temperature, uh, volts and fuel on an 80 gallon tank run on marine fuel only uh, You are dead on accurate and obviously brand new sea star steering. You have no issues there This is also a brand new not brand new but new 7 inch echo map DV You got a Garmin VHF 100 and you also have a real nice fusion Stereo system as you can see so overall, beautiful turnkey vessel, real solid, real clean. And um, keep in mind too, this vessel comes with a 2013 trailer, uh, which is in excellent condition. And what I'll do is, uh, I'm not gonna shoot video out of the water. I'll have pictures at the end of the posting uh, with the boat on the trailer, so you guys can kind of view uh, condition of bottom paint and as well the trailer, uh, really no issues there. So give me just a sec here, let me turn down that, and as I hold, I uh, got the GoPro on my head, let me just cast off real quick, because I'm going to put this thing right on the trailer. You guys bear with me, enjoy the experience.
the life of a boat broker. And let's just untie right here. Video is going to be a little longer because I'm doing it this way, but um, to give you the full experience the best I can. Just a real nice boat, real nice price. Uh, you know, you got a real nice e tech. Um, you know, some people are fans, some aren't. We all know the reality, but uh, you got a good one here. Low hours, services, clearly up to date. Let's just pull off the dock. We're just going to run it for a couple sacks. You guys see everything's in working condition. Minus what I said wasn't in working condition. I'm not going to mess with the trim tabs because uh, it's tough to do holding the camera and steer at the same time. Low tide is, uh, tide's going out, so we're going to just kind of shoot up down this way a little bit. And as always, um, most of what you see on the vessel is conveyed. Uh, personal items are not, uh, but I, you know, there's not really many of that out, much of that out. And uh, as always, uh, you know, bring a marine surveyor, your mechanic. Sea trials available. Uh, obviously, if the vessel is under contract, reasonable offers will be considered on this vessel with a deposit to present to the seller. At that point, then we would go to sea trial and close, um, and we just kind of go from there. So anyway, here we go. I don't want to wake these docks, but we'll give it just a little bit of juice. 2,000 RPMs. Now, I did notice when I was out a little bit before, you know, the bow kind of sticks up on this, which is the key to the trim tabs. She lays down with engine trim down at about 3,200 RPMs. If I trim it up, obviously your bow's going to stay up a little bit longer. Let me just see if I can get past. We're running about 2,200 RPMs right now and just kind of uh, coasting at about 7 miles per hour. See that bow come up? We're running 3,000 and she drops down at 3,300 RPMs with the engine trimmed all the way down. Now, if I just kind of cruise out like this, I'm just easily, with no stress on the engine, uh, 3,300 RPMs, 24 miles per hour. And we're just going to take her up a little bit, 4,000 RPMs. We are at 4,500 RPMs, still got room to go, 32 miles and, and climbing. You see, you can hear she's nice and quiet, nice four stroke. 32 miles an hour, and we're going to just pin her and trim up a little bit. Right now, I'm running about 4,700 RPMs, and we're doing about 36 miles per hour. And she comes to a stop pretty quick. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this baby in reverse. Just so you guys can kind of... No gear slippage. No clicking, no clacking. So overall, we got a real nice situation here. 1995 Paul, real nice. Uh, high gunnels, deep, solid. Great for fishing. Uh, we'll get you a little deeper than you want to go normally. Evan Rude 150, 150 hours, turnkey service already done. Brand new Sea Star steering, brand new trim tabs. Even got a kicker uh, in case you guys want to put something out there, uh, you know, for trolling or so on and so forth. And um, uh, nav lights work. Uh, really, your only negative here is going to be a non working speed, uh, miles per hour gauge, and uh, uh, engine tilt up and down. Uh, overall, pretty nice. And also on a 2013 trailer. So anyway, Rob out here at I'mAlwaysInHotWater.com, coming up on about 10 minutes, which I'm sure is about uh, all you guys will be able to take of this voice. And what we're going to do is we're take her back in, put her on the trailer, and I'm going to shoot a couple of pictures of that, and um, we'll take it from there. Rob at I'mAlwaysInHotWater.com, wishing you guys a great and safe boating day, and Rob signing off.